<laughs> Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and I am on a special mission today. I have come back to Heen Cemetery. Now, I don't know if you were watching my Sussex border walk, and I can't remember the episode number, but one of them, I was in the area of Heen near Worthing, or in Worthing these days, um, in West Sussex, down on the coast here, and I passed the cemetery, which is now closed to the public. Victorian cemetery, as far as I can make out, but it's no longer a cemetery, it's a nature reserve. And there is um, a bunch of people who look after it, and I'm very pleased to say I'm joined by Sue Standing, who is the chairperson. Hello, Sue. Hello. hello nice Richard. to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you too. You very you. kindly invited me to have a look on the inside. Yes, I've, I felt that when I saw your uh, video about um, St Botov's Chapel and you had mentioned that you would be interested in coming in, I felt this time of year is the best time because we've got the spring flowers in our meadowland. Oh yeah, absolutely spring. What a wonderful time and we've been very lucky with some of the weather as well. Yes. yes. So this is an enclosed, it, am I right in saying it's Victorian? Yes, mostly Victorian. It, um, was opened uh, in 1863, consecrated by the church, and the church was built at the same time. They started small few burials every year, and we do now actually have a chart that shows how the burials worked all the way up to a peak and then started easing off again. Oh, see. Until 1977, when um, it was by order of the Queen, it's closed because it's full. Right. They can't put any more burials in yes, here. Yes, yeah, because you've got limited space, haven't yes, you? Yes, and we do get inquiries, the church gets inquiries about putting family members' ashes in now, and unfortunately even that's not allowed. Oh, right. Oh, so once it's closed, it's officially closed, you can't. Right. So now, Sue, we have come down to the... Let me see, this north-west corner. That's right. <laughs> Getting my bearings here. It's a, it's a very um, beautiful site here, surrounded, um, for those that don't know, by all the Victorian houses, That's correct. which presumably were those that were using the site Yes. when it was a... Um, a, a cemetery. Yes, that's right. Um, yes, yeah, so the cemetery was cl was closed in 1977, and um, the uh, local people would come and, and look after their burial, their relatives, and the gravestones. And then, um, unfortunately, it did get left unattended for quite a while, and it started getting very um, un un unwieldy. And the neighbours actually complained and were asking the, the um, church and the council to change it into a park. So oh, right. they discussed that for a while and went over for several years. They were trying to think about how it was going to be. And financially, I think in the end, they decided it wasn't possible, which we're very pleased about. Yes. Um, and the West Sussex County Council came in and it was now designated a site of conservation interest um, for the old meadowland. So we do have an awful lot of uh, lovely old flowers that come up from the in, through the year, um, and, and that's, the grasses. That, and that's something that we should we should mention because this goes back um, to a time when you had all those wild flowers yes. that, of course, with all the urban development that we have, we no longer see half no. of them. So this is a haven for yes. that goes back to a long, long time. Yes, yes. If you go back into doomsday time, it was farmland where they would have had cow cattle and sheep and uh, pigs probably. Um, and it wasn't actually ploughed, this area, so therefore it stays as the old meadow land as it was. It doesn't get... Uh, and, and I believe on your website you've got a list of the different species that we you have. found here. Yes. Um, and we're very lucky today you've got a prolific a number of primroses. Yes, the spring flowers are coming up. We yeah. will have bluebells soon. Um, and then later on in the year we get all sorts of different plants. Uh, one and, and different years we have different um, numbers of, of various species. So one year we had a rag, ragwort grow and it grew really tall so we walking through what we called ragwort walk it was very, uh, oh, how very lovely. pretty at that time. Yeah. Butterflies, um, oh lots of species love. of butterflies yes. we get. Absolutely but um, I know that uh, you know it grows and yes. <laughs> you, you had the Sussex Wildlife Trust come in? Yes they came in um, after the uh, the decision that it was a concert site of conservation so um, they came in and they would only clear quarterly so each quarter 
every year they would court, take one quarter and let it open up for the families to visit their graves. Um, but unfortunately there was a bit of a dispute with the council so they did leave and uh, it went for another six years of nothing and that's when all this bramble grew and we have left patches of it for our foxes and different wildlife we have here. So um, the patches are left here but the, the whole of the cemetery was just pure bramble and trees and all sorts of yes, things. Yes, I can imagine. <laughs> I mean if you leave nature to its own devices it goes, yes. it goes mad. So we're going to go down now to the, um, the south side yes. um, and have a look down there. Lovely, yes, thank you. So you brought me down to the south central um, part of the uh, cemetery here and you can see behind us you've got um, now I think I've um, come across one of these trees before is that goat willow? It is correct yes ah. it is a coat there's a variation of a species of goat willow we have a, a great deal of goat, goat willow in the cemetery all the different male and female species as well um, we think it's because there is a water there is water running under here which comes from a tributary of Teval stream oh right oh, okay so, um, out in the crossroads you can hear running water oh can you through one of the drains so going underneath it, yes and it's running through here so and, and a lot of the plants also are particularly uh, favor water so this yes is why of course so it must it must i mean i was just thinking then you know you've got um graves that go down quite some depth haven't you yes, when they were the, digging them the deepest grave at the, the beginning was nine foot and you can imagine that we didn't have diggers in those days if no. you go back to uh, 1870s. Hand. <laughs> and yes, I wonder if they came across uh, the water from the, the stream. They Who may knows? well have done, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how deep it is. <laughs> but another you, survey, another project Another project, <laughs> yes, absolutely. So you've got a whole load of different species of trees here. You've got yew and you've got elder and I've seen some hawthorn. That's correct, um, yes. Uh, we've got the ilex tree as well, the holm oak oh, as it's called yes. officially. Um, and a great deal of elm uh, over in the east side Oh, have there, you? Oh, brilliant. Um, which we have had a couple with elm disease we've had to, oh, to, that's a to shame. cut down, unfortunately. Yes. But we do keep an eye on it. But they're, as, whilst they're young, they're OK. It's when they get to a certain height, I believe. That, yeah, I've heard, heard so, that too. Uh, yes, we're watching a couple over there which are quite tall. It's quite a lot for your volunteers then to Yes, to, yes, to we do. have 15 dedicated volunteers that come in regularly over the two afternoons we do, Tuesday and Saturday afternoon working. The rest of the time, the cemetery's left closed really for people for the wildlife to um, have flourish and yes, enjoy it <laughs> absolutely um, yes and the, so the volunteers are, have different ways of working we've got some who like a particular area to work on so we're standing in an area where I've actually got two volunteers they do two rows of graves um, and look after them and we chose whereas the wildlife trust were doing a quarter every year we have chosen to do the first two rows of each grave so we can read the signs and um, of the um, burials and do some research on them as well. Oh right, oh fantastic. Now you've got a special project going on we this year indeed. and you're going to take me over to a different um, part and we'll talk about that. Yes, lovely. After you. Thank you. So Sue, yes. we're, we're now on the west side pretty east much. Side. Uh, yes, I always have that thing about <laughs> east and west. That's right, east brightens that way. Yes. Um, and you brought me here because you're standing next to Yes, this is the beautiful oldest memorial we have um, standing. It's a tombstone for Cyrus Elliot and it's a highly polished granite and it actually stays like this all the time. We don't do any cleaning for it. It's got its own, whatever it is, it's a very special, probably very expensive tombstone for Cyrus Elliot. He's the fourth burial in the cemetery. Um, and it just fascinates me that he is, that the stone stays the so... The stone good. stays yes. so, as if it was only put here last week. Yes. Yeah, yes. absolutely amazing. And it would have had railings which have been removed and would have been removed in the war times at World War Two for the bombs. For the, yes. So now, the other thing that you've been doing here, and this is a new project. This is our new project this year, yes. Um, which is fascinating. I've been very lucky to capture some footage of that. Yes. And that's your bird um, ringing. Ringing, and I guess you're registering as well what comes into. Yes. Um, David joined us during the um, pandemic. He's been in touch with us and asked us if, if we, he could come in to, because he saw that this site was so prolific with birds as he walked by and he wanted to um, 
do bird count for us and we are on eBird which is a, a special app that you can record every bird you see and um, we talked about bird ringing because he is a professional um, bird ringer and we agreed, we checked with the council but Worthing Borough Council are extremely interested in what we find and they want to know as well so um, yes he's, he's come in and uh, he started three weeks ago we had a very interesting first week with six different species of bird last week we had two spe same type species but different birds and um, this week we're getting a lot of interesting different birds today. fantastic yes no and I've, I've seen it it's, it seems um, the, the bird seems so docile when when oh, being he's, handled he is so gentle he is yeah. a lovely personality he loves his birds he's very very well educated i think he was seven when he started oh, taking an interest in birds <laughs> so uh, yes he's uh, and he, he his actual job is um recording birds he does a lot of the sea sea birds on the sea oh, front. right so you'll if yes. ever you go down there you'll see him you'll down often there. see him down there yes. oh brilliant well listen sue there's so much to see oh. i'm going to um encourage people to go and check out your website so yes, they can find you. out more information and um find out when you're doing your obviously yes, your open you. days and of course it is locked you can't just come in don't climb over the wall no, you'll upset the, the bird the wildlife needs their time yes, to themselves and it is a, it's that special haven we don't have that many in in, in inver urban environments so yeah. um but yeah. thank you for taking me around and showing you're me. You're very welcome, Richard. I'm, I'm very pleased that you're that interested in yeah, what you do. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I think it's brilliant. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it interesting. It, I, you know, I wish I could bring you all here, but I can't. So <laughs> that's it. Until next time, thanks True. for watching. Uh, yes, bye for now. Thank you.